Good morning. You're watching Breakfast today with Louise and Dan. Uh, right after the programme this morning, the Rip Off Britain team will be continuing a special week of live programmes. Angela, Julia... Later on, <laughs> uh, we're here until 9.15 and then the Rip Off Britain team take over. Yes, um, Sally's here to talk to us about... I mean, I just don't even... She's, she's inspired... <laughs> to keep an eye on at the yeah. Olympics. It'd be amazing to see if uh, Helen can do it again. Now, with all the hand sanitizer, face coverings and temperature checks, it wasn't exactly business as usual when theatres reopened last night. But make no mistake, the show did go on. After a long wait, audiences returned to auditoriums across Britain to watch everything from The Mousetrap to the play we were talking about yesterday, um, April in Paris with Joe Pasquale. Ben Boulos reports from the West End. <sighs> Good, isn't it? Louise is off to the theatre next week. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I mentioned that? I think I know your diary as, as well Better as you. Better than I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, in other news, uh, a campaign asking businesses to do more to improve inclusion for people with disabilities has finally met its goal just after two years of hard work. Yeah, it's brilliant news and uh, Nina is... If you're wondering what's happening with the weather today, you can listen to what Carol's got to say, but you can also have a look at her gorgeous backdrop because she has been all morning at the top of the London Eye. Morning, Carol. Enjoyable to be able to see it as well on just such a lovely day. Thank yeah, you lovely. all. Only Carol can get the London Eye to stop as well. It, stop, it stops for Carol's weather throughout the day. Is that right, <laughs> Carol? They've stopped it for you every time. She's gone. She's gone. Yes. They're yes. putting it down. Been... Uh, it's 8.53. Now, last year, as uh, staying in became the new going out, we got used to that, didn't we? We swapped the pub for the sofa. Uh, getting lost in a good book has proved incredibly popular. Yep, sales soared. A TV book club series between the covers aims to celebrate the nation's joy of reading and sees well-known celebrity faces give their thoughts on some of this year's most in-demand novels. Uh, radio DJ Sarah Cox hosts the show and delighted to say... Morning! Uh, ..she joins us... This morning, good morning. Oh, I'm disappointed you haven't. Morning. I'm disappointed you haven't got bookshelves <laughs> behind you. Then we can see what you've been reading. My bookshelves. Is that right, Cal? They've stopped it for you every time. She's gone. She's gone. Yes. They're yes. putting it down. Been... Uh, it's eight fifty-three now. Last year, as uh, staying in became the new going out, <laughs> we got used to that, didn't we? We swapped the pub for the sofa. Uh, getting lost in a good book has proved incredibly popular. Yep, sales soared. A TV book club series between the covers aims to celebrate the nation's joy of reading and sees well-known celebrity faces give their thoughts on some of this year's most in-demand novels. Uh, radio DJ Sarah Cox hosts the show and delighted to say... Morning! Uh, ..she joins... <laughs> disconcerting, that one, isn't it? Um, so, tell us. Um, so, it, 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 um, that was a thing about the pandemic, wasn't it? Lots of us turned to reading, didn't we? Gone crazy, haven't they? And I think, as, as well as people have been watching TV, a lot of people have been reading books and also, which is perfect for your programme, talking about them to other people. Yeah, what kind of books do you like? Not cruel thinking, <laughs> uh, right. Um, I wish I could read. Uh... That's what I wanted to ask you about, because we heard from Helen Glover, who's basically fitting in her exercise around her children, around her yes. life. So where, have you found yourself yes. having to read at all times while you're doing loads of other stuff? Thank so you. So lovely to see you both. Bye. See you later, um, the next episode of Between the Covers will be on Monday evening, 7.30 on BBC Two, and you can catch up with the series so far on the iPlayer as well. Are you watching BBC Breakfast? I'm sure you know that. It is 8.59. Uh, let's have a last look at some of the headlines for you this morning. And ministers are stepping up calls for people to book a coronavirus vaccination as soon as they're offered one. This is amid increasing concern over the Indian variant. It's now just after nine o'clock. Um, Fifteen years after teenager Kyan Prince was stabbed and killed outside his school in London, his dream of becoming a professional footballer is being realised through the help of technology. Amazing story. His friends and family have worked with designers to turn uh, Kian into a character in this year's FIFA computer game with the aim of discouraging young people from carrying knives. Breakfast Graham Satchel has the story. Such an amazing idea. Mm. A little bit earlier on the programme, Kyan's father, Mark, told us what he would say to any young person considering going out with a knife. I would...
Very powerful, isn't she? Wasn't very that? powerful, Smart very print. passionate. Mm. Absolutely. Um, it's five past nine. Time for a last brief look at the headlines wherever you are today. Now, uh, many of you watching might recognise the Big Five as some of the most powerful, majestic animals in the wild. But the name was originally used to describe those hardest to hunt on foot. Yeah, with trophy hunters hitting the headlines in recent years, a photography project aims to challenge the perception of the word shooting and instead celebrate the animals through the lens of a camera. Let's have a look at some of the photos or photographs. Yeah. Um, Graham Green is one of the photographers. Thank you so much for joining Hi, us. We'll, we'll come to the photos in a minute, but there were sort of these original big five, weren't there? And you've moved this on because it's important to you, isn't it? It uh, means an awful lot to you as well. And, and talking about the importance of language, you took, picked up on the word shooting there. Um, the term big five, because we, we mentioned it in the introduction there. Tell us about the story about how that term sort of originated. Lovely to talk to you, Graham. Uh, we're back tomorrow from six. We are. Right now, it's time for Rip Off Britain Live. <laughs> That's going to get me going. <laughs> that set you off, Louise? You're all right. No. <laughs> 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 it just feels like it's been God. such a long time, hasn't it? It's been such a long time, hasn't it? Gosh. Anyway, um, headlines will be coming up in just a moment. Oh.